For many years, Rinker has been delivering great boats at a great price. They've delivered boats that have an awful lot of features as standard and not a huge long list of options that keeps them well priced. And this week's power profile subject is certainly not an exception to that rule. So this week we're going to take a look at a Rinker 216 R series. Bow riders are the quintessential day or sport boat for a host of great reasons, and Rinker's 216R is no exception. At 21 feet, it is an ideal size for cruising with a gang, yet it is still easily trailered. Add Rinker's optional R package, and the 216 becomes a decent tow sports boat for the family. The package adds a host of options, including a folding tower with pinami canvas, hull graphics, and more. At the stern, the extended swim platform is a real bonus. Fold the backrests up on the large sun pad and two can relax with an aft view. A section of the pad on the starboard hinges up revealing a walkthrough with a large storage locker beneath. Another inset in the pad opens to a trash receptacle. Assisted by gas struts, the entire pad lifts for access to the engine and systems. The aft bench seat is full beam with storage in the base, outboard, and a removable cooler in the center with direct access via an insert in the cushion. More storage for the wakeboards and gear is handled by the seven foot log in floor locker hidden under the standard snap in carpet. Twin sliding swiveling helm seats with bolsters face the helm and both the passenger and driver are well protected by the curved windshield. The driving position is comfortable, helped by the tilt wheel. The 216 has good sight lines forward of the comprehensive instruments. On the passenger side, there's a stainless grab rail and a Sony stereo in the lockable compartment. As part of the R package, the stereo is upgraded to a satellite radio with amp, subwoofer, tower mounted bullet speakers, and transom remote. The bow area is quite accommodating. Rinker accomplishes this by carrying the 8 foot 6 beam well forward. There's space for three adults and a filler cushion turns the space into a great lounge. Of course, there is storage in the bases and a dedicated anchor locker at the bow. Have more gear? Flip up the open bow seat backs and pile it into the helm consoles. Now the other thing you have to really make sure that you make the right choice when you're choosing your rinker, of course, is the right power. And this has got a Mercury 5 liter V8 in it. So the other thing you want to enjoy on your bow rider is a good blast around the lake from some great performance. With 19 degrees of dead rise, reverse chines, and an aft pad, the 216 performed well with the Mercruiser 5.0 MPI. She accelerated to 30 miles per hour in 8.3 seconds, topped out at 48.2, and handled quite well. Cruising was a comfortable 23 miles per hour at 3,000 RPM. Rolling into a turn, the hull took a balanced stance and carved through, not affected by chop or weight. Well, this has been a great day on the water. Sitting back here and relaxing is almost the ultimate in boating statement. Now this 216 R series has been a great boat to test. There's some options obviously here on the 216 that you're really not gonna want to go without. Obviously the big one here is the platform. What a great setup for enjoying time relaxing on the water, for diving off and enjoying swimming, and of course, for gearing up and enjoying some wakeboarding with the optional tower that comes with the R-Series. And what can you say about the great color that they've chosen, the blue on this particular model.